Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can import a spine animation in your project like this in Game Maker. So there is some problem that you should know about that Game Maker doesn't support newest version of a spine. So what you can do about that? In this video I will show you how you can fix that. So without any further ado, let's begin. So you can see we have a spine trial in here and when we click on one of our projects and open it in here and when we export it game maker gives us a error so first of all let me show you that error when we have the animation ready in here and go to spine go to export and in here just export it to the desktop in game maker let's just create an sprite to add that animation to our game maker so let's just create an sprite in here let's call it spr player and in here hit import so in here if we select this json file it should give us an error yeah it says c compile error window window for further inf information and try re-exporting using a supported version of the spine what is the supported version of the spine is version 3.7 so game maker doesn't support version after 3.7 so what we can do about that let's just close this first thing first if you go to your uh, a spine and go to here go to setting in application you can change the spine version in here because in version 4.0 that is beta um, and i don't have the license for that it doesn't let me to change the spine version so you can see if i can't click in here but if you have pro version of spine 4.1 you can change the spine version to 3.7 and it worked fine everything should be okay just remember when you change this hit save and after that close a spine and reopen it and everything should work fine but if you are like me that you have ver uh, a spine version 3.8.75 and you can't change the version in here there is another way to change the version after you export it so let me show you so in here go to a spine in here click on export and it will uh, it will export as 3.8.75 that game maker doesn't support so what we can do about that first of all we should select where we want to export our animation and in here just select json in here json uncheck all of this but this texture atlas we just need this texture atlas for game maker so hit export and everything is exported and again if we import it in here we should import the json file and when we hit open it says that the version is not supported so the way that i want to show you is with this if you go to this page of the spine site they did explain how you can change that change the version after you export your json file so first thing to do you should go to a skeleton viewer i will put a, all of this link in description down below so you can click on it just download the latest version click on it and it will it will be downloaded like you can see here i did download it here after you download it just grab it and put it on wherever you want but i want to put it on atlas folder in here where i did export all of this json atlas and png file from spine so now that we have this let's just go back to this spine editor and runtime version you see that there is a thread in here that they will explain how you can change that with a skeleton viewer that they provide for us so first of all we should say java dash cp what it does is just copying um, what we want and change the information in it so for using that we should open our cmd just hit windows on your keyboard search for cmd and here we have our cmd let me make it bigger and increase the font so you can see it clearly to something like 20 and no let's just say java dash cp and after that we should give it this jar library in here what it is it is exactly this skeleton viewer that we download from internet so how we can add it to this just write this and after that just drag and drop this here it will put the path for us in here and after you have done that just write another one of these and after that and a space next thing to do we should copy this class in here so we want to use this class json roll rollback from this jar file so let's just copy this and paste it in here and after that we should give it the path of our json file that we want to uh, change the version of it so let's just minimize this i want to change the version of this raptor dash pro.json so 
what we can do we should put this in here and after that we can drag and drop in here and after that just add one of these again at the end of it and after that the version that you want to change it to so i want to use version 3.7 because game maker support version 3.7 and after that we should give it a path to save a ton so i will give it the path of this and i will change the name of it so let's just at this at the end of it and let's just change end of this you see i changed the name of um, file json file that we want to save and now we can hit, hit enter on our keyboard and it will create this um, json file for us so this is the json file that game maker support now we can just get rid of the old one so hit delete on that what you should do next you should copy its name and paste it for our atlas file in here the, the name of the json file and atlas file should be the same and now everything is okay and now we can go to game maker and hit import again and import this json file here in here and it should works fine so you can see it our animation is here so let me show you how you can use it first of all let's just create an object let's call it ovg test and in here add uh, give it this sprite that we created and let's just add a create event in here what we should do in here let's say we uh, want to set animation in it so if we go to a spine let's maximize it minimize this and you can see in animation there is one two three four five animation in here and i want to show you the animation of roar so let's just click it by clicking in here go to animation in here and just zoom out a little bit and hit run and you can see the animation is like this okay so what we should do we should copy this um, the name of the animation in here so double click on it and copy its name and now we can minimize this and go to game maker and say a skeleton animation set so animation set a skeleton animation set and in here put it as an as an x a string because it used json file so with that we have our animation and we can change animation set animation we can do a lot about it if you want to know more about a spine how you can work with the spine um how you can um use it in game maker professionally i will show you uh, in future videos so please hit that subscribe button so now let's just run it to see if it's work oh, i i forgot to add this object to a room so let's just add it fast where is our room yeah add this you can see that it's a little bit bigger than our room so let's just make it a little bit small and no hit run and you can see we have this animation in here okay everything is okay no uh spine is the cool software that i think all the game maker um programmers should have this uh in their pieces so there are some free version like uh, spine that called i think dragon bone let me show you dragon bone and that's it dragon bone is a free software like spine but i work with both of them the best where the best one is spine because it has a better ai and it has cool advanced option but dragonborn is easy it's free and you can work with that um and nothing wrong with that and i think game maker support it and everything should be fine i hope you like this video if you like please hit the subscribe button and if you want to help me please hit that like button and bell button thank you very much for watching bye